Say something. Hello, hello. Check mic one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, cool. My name is Saria. I am a senior at Southern Adventist University, fine arts major. Um, I don't know what else is there about myself, actually. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's going to be the intro. So recently I've been working a lot with uh, like acrylic, I've been doing like airbrush art, so I use acrylic, I also paint with oils, I also do collage, and uh, that kind of works with anything, so drawings or newspaper cuttings or magazines or anything. Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of everything, wood, metals trash on the street, literally anything I can find, I'll work with it. A lot of the time, I'm thinking about past memories and kind of recontextualizing them into being a new experience, all collage together. So a lot of mine, my work uh, influence comes from collage because I can kind of piece together all these different moments that have happened to me or that I've experienced or seen. Um, and kind of just make them into one space, one new memory. So it's a lot about memory and kind of recontextualizing different moments of my life. What place and importance does art have in our world today? Hmm. Place is kind of like everything. Everything calls for an artistic view, whether it's, I don't know, just like our worldview, how we feel about the world, a lot of that is based off of art and then also like our society and the things that we value or are moving towards are kind of led by art and like what artists are willing to do. So the place is kind of as major as it's ever been. Um, the importance comes from the fact that it literally can influence major parts of society, art has been used to tear people down, it's been used to build people up, it's been used to bring people to God, it's been used to push people away, like there's there's a lot of different ways that it's been seen and used in the media, so I feel like the importance is kind of like beyond even our comprehension of like how much it matters, um, the content that we put into the world. How do you see your art practice in relation to the rest of your life and in relation to your religion? I don't know if I really see my art practice at all separated from my life. So it's kind of weird because I don't think about like my art and my life. It's just my art is my life and just encapsulates everything else inside of that. There's not a single thing I pass by that I don't like think, oh no, I just won't. I just won't make any art. I don't expect myself to ever make that decision because this is pretty much the only thing I like really enjoy consistently. But as far as religion goes, I don't know, it's interesting because I had never actually thought about uh, what type of connection my art has to religion. Oh, I grew up Adventist and I'm at an Adventist institution so clearly there's some sort of interaction but um, for myself I would say in a major part it's just the fact that I do a lot of work to try to figure out how I can mix the powerful uh, messages of religion into the art I make. It's kind of weird because, um, for instance, last year I took a printmaking class and we were supposed to come up with like kind of a, a thought, an idea that had some sort of purpose. Um, and so some people were like standing up for women's rights or animals or whatever you wanted to do. And I kind of couldn't figure out what I wanted to do because I've always had an issue with like my art isn't trying to save anybody or help anyone. It's purely just because I like to express myself and I can't stand to not be heard. So I tried to kind of see if I could meld um, skate culture with religion, like with Jesus, which was really interesting. When I say skate culture, I mean just like any submersive culture in like the punk or hardcore scenes or anything like that. Um, because I like that a lot and I also like God, so I was like, how can I make those two mix? Um, and I actually found a lot of issues with that because they kind of already mix in a way, um, as far as imagery goes, but in a way that 
a lot of times takes away from uh, the actual like beautiful message of the Bible. So that was like a really confusing process that I went through, and I don't know what I really learned besides the fact that uh, I can't go into art with a specific purpose. I, it's usually revealed to me, and so a lot of times I figure out where I am in my in my Christianity by making art and then being like, oh, there's a symbol of this, um, and it kind of, I can kind of piece together, so uh, it's all about me. <laughs> oh, did it just stop? It just died. Oh, did it die? I have an extra battery. <laughs> I hope it got that. It it's did. all about me. <laughs> <laughs> you should end it on that. It's all about me, man. My art is purely a cathartic, expressive process for me, and I don't think in many ways, on purpose, it does relate to my religion, besides the fact that I have that inside myself and it is projected very often. For a while, I was pretty inspired by Revelation, because we, uh, me and some friends were getting into the <laughs> apocalypse, and because that's like the most metal thing. Oddly enough, the Bible's pretty hardcore with the imagery, so um, I wouldn't say like it in inspires much of my work at all. Um, but I do just like, in general, I think of God as kind of like this scientist who puts things together and tries to figure out what is attractive where and what feels good where and like what works uh, with something else. So I feel like a lot of my process is like that. Like. It seems kind of scattered brained, but when it comes together, it often looks very thoughtful and like purposeful, which is not something I hope for or try for, it's just what comes out. And so uh, the main thing I get from that is, is I think the nature of God in a lot of ways is very expressive and, and kind of just letting go and allowing things to happen and seeing the beauty in them. And that's what I try to do. I really try to like, detach my hand from most of the things I'm making, even though it's me doing it, I try to not be uh, too controlling of the process because I kind of just believe in the fact that everything works out how it's meant to be. And if it work and if I finish something and I don't like it, then I just don't like it. That's the way it was meant to be. It doesn't mean everything's perfect, but everything's what it wants to be. Do you see art as an opportunity for ministry? Definitely, art is an opportunity for ministry. In general, the process of ministering, um, being able to use different uh, wavelengths of communication can really help just open people up because some people don't respond to a sermon or they don't respond to canvassers. If we can use art, music, um, even food, even community, um, being together like that, those things for me at least do the most for me. I think if there's more purpose in expressing uh, the beauty or the majesty of the world, and that doesn't just mean making paintings that are just landscapes and beautiful, but just showing how open the world is and how many different things there are and how many different ways we can express them, I feel like that's a really powerful tool um, to reach out to people, especially if you can do it in a way that captures people to where when they look into it more, they f find out that it has some sort of religious context besides just being hit with like a cross and gold leaf and they're like, oh, I guess this is religious. The Bible's full of metaphor. I've always thought metaphors were really cool because you can say anything while actively saying not that thing. Like you can get something across. I, I literally love that. It's like a puzzle in words, so I feel like if the use of metaphor was more implemented um, in art to express God's character, that could be really powerful. Because you could reach a lot of people who would actively look away if they knew it was overtly religious, you know. If you read the story of Jesus' life, he told his parables in a way that if you wanted to listen, you would understand. And if you were going for the wrong reasons, you would not understand. And that's like genius. And you would think, well, isn't he closing it off to certain people? But no, he's opening it to everyone, but he's only allowing you to really see the depth of it because you want to. And if you don't want to, then you don't see it. And that's kind of the beauty of God is that he doesn't project anything onto us. It's all 
we have to search for it and I think that's something that I like to do in my own artwork also is like I want people to look and think of what this could possibly mean without me necessarily telling them. I kind of want to be sought after, my thoughts to be sought after without having to just plainly write it out. Because when I do plainly write it out, I'm like, this is boring. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. Have you experienced God through your art or someone else's? Hmm. To think about that. I don't think I've really ever experienced God through someone else's art besides music. Um, not visual art, but music. There's certain songs that like really do it for me. Breathe Your Name by Sixpence None the Richer. It's literally like one of my favorite songs of all time. And you wouldn't necessarily know it was overtly Christian if you didn't know, because Sixpence is not under a Christian label or anything like that. But that song, uh, my dad used to play it for me as a kid and it like will still make me cry sometimes if I, if I focus hard enough. To me, God is freedom. Like God is this sort of comfortable, I imagine I'm floating in like, um, I don't know, like a zero gravity, like where I'm just kind of like in this suspended state. And when I'm playing music, when I'm playing like with my friends and we're like in the groove of making something, I feel this sort of like elated freedom that is like as close as I'll get to heaven <laughs> in this world. Um, Cause it's just like, I feel completely like I belong, completely like I know what I'm doing. I don't question myself. I'm not thinking about my body or my struggles or any, I'm literally just in the moment, like feeling free. And there's not many things that make me feel that way. So I would say music, music is the one that has connected with me the most. What do you hope in an ideal future for art to become in the church. In church? Hmm. I'd really hope in the future that Christian artists open themselves up more to the different ways that beauty can be expressed because I think there's a lot of legalism in the church. It blocks people from being able to um, accept that something is really beautiful if it doesn't fall into their exact understanding of like what is good and what isn't. I wish um, art in the church would just kind of open up kind of the same as the whole church in general. <laughs> just open up to the world like it's not us and them you know it's all of us and we're all in this together and we're all supposed to be helping each other and so I think the stark separation, it influences art immensely, and I've seen it multiple ways. I think if we could shrink that divide between what we think is acceptable and what we think isn't, then there could be a lot more expression and acceptance in the church, which, again, would just bring more people in and give more opportunities. I've noticed that artists in the church are not really vitalized, and still, just like anybody else, church members will be like, oh, you're an artist? okay, what are you gonna do with that? What, Like, they don't see it. They wouldn't even think to be like, oh, are you using that for service? Are you wanting, you know, like, are you gonna be a missionary with that? Which you could do. Like, there's a lot of different things to do with art. In fact, I feel like art is like the most wide range of jobs you could potentially have. It'd be awesome if there was some sort of program, like for student missionaries, where it was specific for artists or, because everyone needs art teachers. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter where you are, what's happening, everyone can really enjoy expressing themselves through art. So if the church actually realized how much of a, of a skill that could be, we could have a lot more going for us in general. And actually like, I don't know, have more fun. <laughs> and finally, what impact do you hope your art will make? Hmm. I can't say at this stage of my life I hope for an impact at all on anyone except for myself. Like, I hope my art doesn't make anyone sad or like unhappy, which I don't think it would. Um, but in my experience, I, again, I just feel really young in my art process and in my life in general because I am young and I don't know yet 
what message I'm trying to send. So I kind of just send a lot of them, so I don't really have any hopes. Um, but I do hope that one day I will be able to help people. Again, like I said, my, my art is really about expressing myself because it's nice. And honestly, I don't even make it to show other people. Like, I just like showing my friends and stuff, and other people happen to see it. But commonly, when I make something, I only show it to the people that I know because I want them to see, because I want them to see a part of me kind of projected. And it has nothing to do with evoking a certain emotion in them or anything like that. I am just like, look at this. <laughs> look at this. this. Is this cool? Or maybe it's not. I want to be a teacher, so. I have hopes with like that te my teaching practice can inform my artwork but also that I can just make life really enjoyable for kids and older people or anyone I'm teaching. I just hope that I can help better someone's life through my words. Um, but my artwork is like a totally separate part from that. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's really weird the way that I separate it because I say it's all of my life but it's also like what am I trying to express with my life? I don't know. That one's too much. <laughs> that question is pretty loaded. Like, what am I trying to express by existing? Um, <laughs> that I'm that I'm here. I'm just I'm here. One of the creations, one in for attention. It's normal. Just because you're a Christian artist doesn't mean you have to make any specific type of art. Remember that. People will tell you, oh, well, this is beautiful art and this isn't, but that's not true. And um, you can make anything you want and you can call it anything you want, but you do have to pay attention to the way that people are being affected by it. And is that effect intended or is that a byproduct of your carelessness? You know, that's kind of, that's the main thing to think about is not what you're making, but like, am I hurting people or helping people by doing this? I like it. Cool. Thank you. That Thank was you. everything. That was so good. Nice.